apply with Megan. So I'm a huge fan of the YSL Beauty line, Yves Saint Laurent. And one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever is an old palette that's no longer available that I just absolutely adore. So I got one of the Ombre, I don't know how you pronounce it, five luminaires, five color harmony for eyes. I got number four, which is called Lilac Sky. And I have outdoor swatches, where since a lot of these shades are a little shimmery, it's nice to kind of see them outside in natural sunlight, where you can actually see what they look like with that glisten. So you get the pretty gold packaging, which I just cleaned off because I get fingerprints all over the pretty gold packaging. You get two absolutely useless, you get a pretty mirror, you get two absolutely useless little brushes, which seem to be par for the course. And then you get these five shades. So what are they? Let's see how I can hold that up. So the first one is a matte purple. I'm going to do these on my arm too. And it's a very kind of a classic purple, kind of a light, maybe slightly lavender toned. It's a matte. It's really hard to build this particular shade up. Honestly, uh, if you want a soft wash of matte purple, I would say this is your color. If you want to really build it up, uh, I would not say this is your color. So I use this in the crease and in the outer kind of corner of my eye and then honestly I beefed it up with another color uh, that's in the palette. So if you want to use it, what I would use this for, since sometimes I'm impatient with blending, if you want to add something darker in your crease, this is a great color because it blends out really easily. So they basically say these are five monochromatic eyeshadows. So here we have the purples and then they say there's one highlighter in four shades, the darker structure and define and the highlighter lightens and widens. So I'm going to guess that the matte purple is not the darker one that they're talking about, but I could be wrong. So that is one of the shades. And the next one they call a shimmering pink pearl. And when we're thinking about the year of the orchid or whatever orchid is the color of the year, this shade totally qualifies and it's super pigmented but light. So this is a light, shimmery, pinky, kind of a purple. Very pretty. Definitely on the lighter end, not unpigmented, but just kind of a lighter, pinker shade. And as with all YSL shadows, if you put it on an eyeshadow with an eyeshadow primer, which I did today, you get a deeper, richer color. If you don't, it can maybe blend away a lot. So I put this in the inner middle part of my eye and it's, if you don't like a pink undertone, this is not your shade. If you like a pink undertone, it's very pretty. I like this color a lot by the way, but I can see where some people would say it's a little pinker of a purple than they would like. The next one is a shimmering lavender and this, I like these kinds of shades, but again, if you don't like something that's going to blend away, it's very light. You can barely see it on my arm. You'll see it better on the outdoor swatches. Uh, it's that light. It's just an almost not their shade. And the reason why I like shades like this is I do like the glisten. And then also sometimes I like to wear a bold lip. And when I wear a bolder lip, I like just a soft wash of shimmery color on my eyelids. And so this definitely qualifies. So this I put in the inner corner of my eye. And you can see when it's on the eye, it actually looks a lot more pigmented than when it's swatched and then I also did it lining the inner part of the eye right here and you can definitely see color. This eye is a little bit infected, it's almost recovered so you can see it's a little redder than the other so I look at this one but um, you can definitely see color there. It just doesn't really swatch very much. You can definitely, I can definitely see a really pretty lavender color and I wore it alone about a week ago and I just loved how pretty it looked outside but definitely not a super pigmented one. Now the other, now this one is much more pigmented, it's almost a plum color, they call this eggplant. Reach, it's a rich and deep, almost a plum kind of a shade right there. And so this I did right here, lining the lower outer eye and then I lined the upper eye and then I did mix a little dry into the crease. So when I did it as a liner I wet it and then here I just did it dry and very pigmented. The last color is the highlighter and they call this a shimmering golden violet which you're not going to be able to see this very well. I... you can see it there. It's almost a white color. White with a violet undertone. I guess I can kind of see the gold. 
I can kind of not see the gold too. So maybe it's like a barely gold. I think it's a very um, silvery, lilac-y, white shimmer. And it is a little chalky, honestly. So this I put right here. And then I just put a dab in the middle of my eye, which you really can't see very much. But when sometimes you use a wetter color like that, I'll do a little bit more. Uh, when you use a wetter color like that, it really opens up the eye, especially if you've done a lot of rich, darker colors on your eyelid. Just putting a little bit of a lighter or a whiter and mixing it in can really just kind of open it up and really make you look awake. Where too much heavy color on my lids, at least personally, don't work so well. I matched it with peach lips, peachy apricot lips and cheeks. I would usually do a color like this with a more orchid or pink or kind of lavender based blush and lipstick but today I just narsed down a whole bunch of corals and peaches with purple and I thought why not try it. So uh, and it, it works. I think it's kind of different. So what do I think? But it works, it's kind of different, but I would still say that because one of the eyeshadows was very pink based, you'd probably be happier on an everyday basis mixing this with pinks or orchids or purples or whatever. What do I think overall? Well, you kind of have to factor in the price of these with the, these are 0.29 ounces, and they're what, $55? I'll double check and put that on the video. I forgot to check that before starting. I think it's a really pretty palette. I don't know that the pigmentation, if you're looking for a super pigmented palette in this particular one, warrants the price. If what you like is what a lot of the YSL shadows offer, kind of a semi-sheer, softer wash of color, then you'll really like this. These last great on me, especially if I use them with a primer. They'll last me a good, you know, 8, 9, 10, 12 hours with an eyeshadow primer. And with an eyeshadow primer, I can also really build it up if I put the time into it. Except you can't build up the matte purple in this one at all. And they're lighter shades for the most part, except for the, the uh, eggplant. I would even say the matte purple is a lighter shade. So I like it. I don't love it, but it's a very soft purple look if that's what you're looking for. So I would love to hear if people have other of these palettes, I'd love to hear what they thought. Uh, this is not one of those four palettes which is supposed to be the formula that you use wet and dry and uh, this you can use wet as a liner but it's not specifically formulated for that so it's not one of those palettes. I just use these two brushes, that's it. One is a smoky eye brush and then one is kind of like a flat harder uh, eyeshadow brush and that's what I did. And then you can see I blended, but not all that much, honestly. I really didn't need to because the colors were pretty soft. Um, please subscribe on YouTube. I do chapters of a novel mask, which is about the masks we wear in makeup and YouTube. And then I also do videos for my book, Get Your Child at the Top, which is a parent-focused education book. And I think that's it.